this lady to be married. On behalf of her friends and family, people of Ramos, the king of rock and roll, El Rey. All right. All right. This is a big day, huh? Las Vegas. With Elvis. Oh, yeah. The king. The king. Well, Giordano, do you take Haridian for your lawfully wedded wife? Yes, I do. Haridian, do you take Giordano for your lawfully wedded husband? Yes, I do. Very good. Huh? Good answer, huh? <laughs> take his arm. Get close to each other like you're in love. There we go. <laughs> All right, for your relationship, your marriage to succeed, there is one principle you must keep in mind. A lot of people forget it even early in the marriage, and even very late in the marriage, and all the other principles about marriage come out of it, so very important. You see, there are some deep, deep, deep emotional and spiritual needs inside of you, Giordano, and inside of you, Rosa, and inside of you, a hurricane. You cannot feel by yourself. That's why we get married. <laughs> Eventually, somebody has to do the job, yes. right? That's right. And it's when those needs are not filled one by the other. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage in a nutshell. <laughs> That's how that works. It's actually a school in selflessness. Oh, yeah. Sometimes boot camp in selflessness. <laughs> so there's a lot attached to that to understand. Very important what those needs are. One of the most important needs your soon-to-be wife has, Giordano, you have to continue to fill throughout her whole life. And I say continue to fill, otherwise she wouldn't be here. No. <laughs> if not even her greatest need, okay? Greatest need according to the Bible, that's our instruction manual for life, is for her to always stay completely safe, secure in and of your love. You must never give her an opportunity to even doubt it. Okay. Many reasons throughout life, but also Haridian here, she will bloom the best when she is loved the most, you see. Yeah. So your wife needs an overdose of love, according to the Bible, you see. Yeah. And the reason for that is because even though the needs are the same on both sides, they differ by the degree of intensity with which they have to be felt. You see, big difference between the man and the woman, plus all the baggage we bring since we're kids. <laughs> and that's why all you have sent down to me. And unless you're on your way to the Guinness Book of World Records, you probably know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> and by nature, we can't see love at all. And it's important to know all about that, obviously. But we can't see love at all unless it is demonstrated and expressed. And the easiest way to do that uh, is simply to tell your wife every day, and not just once, how much you love her, how much she means to you. Simple. Yeah. And during the year, you buy her gifts. You know, big ones and small ones, and flowers, and jewelry, and perfume, surprise romantic candlelight dinners, and things, you know. Even if it's not a birthday. Uh -huh. Especially when it's not a birthday, big points for that. So many, many principles to follow for marriages to succeed. So much more profound than what I shared here, much deeper ramification. But it's only when we walk in the ways that God has designed the relationship to function, it'll become what you actually designed it to be. What you want it to be, rich and rewarding experience gets better and better over the years, huh? instead of worse and worse, maybe. You know, you don't want that. So I go study your instruction manual for yourselves. The Bible, never be sorry for that. Everything we need for life is in there, all of its facets. This one, the next. Too much religion out there, not enough of God. Face each other, please, and Giordano, please place the ring upon Haridian's finger and repeat after me. Haridian, I give you this ring. Haridian, I give you this ring. As a pledge. As a pledge. To my love and commitment. My love and commitment. And I take you to be my wife. I, am, I take you to be my wife. I promise to be your faithful husband. I promise to be your faithful husband. <laughs> and I will love you and cherish you. And I will love you and cherish you. Respect you and honor you. Respect you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Mm-hmm.
And Harry again, please place the ring upon your fiance's finger. And say, I give you this ring. As a pledge to my love and commitment, I take you to be my husband. I promise to be your faithful wife. And I will love you and cherish you, respect you and honor you all the days of my life. All right, if you're Nana and Haridin, after hearing the vows you exchange with each other in the sight of your witness, and of course, tell us, and in the sight of God, by the authority given to me by the laws of the state of Nevada, I officially pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride, sir. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>